All right, so to review with you, last um, couple of while ago when we did our unit two, unit three, unit three test, we talked about the difference of two squares. And that was what we called a special factoring technique. And if whenever I asked you guys to look at square numbers minus square numbers, because rather than doing the whole diamond and box thing that we practice with factoring, when you have a difference of two squares, we can factor that into a minus b times a plus b. And that was really important for you guys to be able to understand. You can break it down into um, a minus b times a plus b. Well, now what we're going to talk about, or what you guys are going to be provided with, is what about when you have the difference or sum of two cube numbers? So guess what? Just like factoring for the difference of two squares, there's a nice factored form for the difference of two cubes. And there's a nice factored form for the sum of two cubes. And the factored form goes like this. And the factored form for the sum of two cubes goes like this. So when you guys are doing these problems, all I want you guys to focus your attention on is not only um, trying to factor and solve them, but in reality, just go ahead and try to figure out what a and b are. Once you know what a and b are, you just plug those values in to the problem. Yes. 